Ah, lyric videos. It's an amazing way to promote your song without having to put a lot of time in production to get a music video. That being said, making them is easier said than done. And in recent years, the number of requests I get in my DMs is, can you help me make a lyric video? Well, fear not, because I'm going to show you how to do that right now in Premiere in five minutes. First, let's choose a track. This one by Curtis Cole and Makeda should do the trick. Next, let's create a new sequence. Set the frame rate to your fave. And let's set the resolution to 1920 by 1080. And we'll name it Lyric Video Demo, because like Ben Marriott says, we always label our layers, or in this case, our sequences. Then we drag on our music track. To make it a little bit more visually interesting, I decided to add some stock footage to help drive the lyrics a little more. All right, let's get started. I like the lyrics to be next to me in Premiere, so it's easy to cut and paste the line straight onto the timeline. Just drag on the Lyric Video Creator Kit version 3 and let's start making stuff. Now, of course, if you don't have access to the Lyric Video Creator Kit, you're more than welcome to use the free Mogut, which we've included in the tutorial, which should at least get you started on making your first Lyric Video. To install the Lyric Video Creator Kit free version and the full version, all you have to do is drag it into the Essential Graphics folder and it's ready to go. Alternatively, you can click this plus button and navigate to where the Mogut you want is living and add it to the Essential Graphics panel. This makes it way easier to find later. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's start with the title of the song. I'm gonna leave it as the default font Beavis and turn on the box with the stroke. Then I'm gonna skew the text by minus six. All right, let's duplicate what we did on the timeline. First, we'll trim the edge off the end of the Mogur by cutting it and not shrinking it. This will preserve the timing of the animation of the Mogur. Next, we'll hold down Alt or Option and drag the Moga to the left. Congratulations, you've birthed a new Moga. Next, we'll add the creators of the song. We'll scale this one down and remove the box stroke. Nice. I'll leave the style of the default slide up with a medium speed. Now let's have a quick listen of the song. Let's option drag a new copy and start putting down our first lyric. I'm going to turn the skew off and drag a second copy to create an animation for the second line. I move the template around till they're roughly in the center with each other. I paste in the second line into the top template. I change the top line to the preset echo accent, which is a nice animation that gives this sick echo effect on the text. Seeing as the second line comes later, I move it along so it comes later in sync with the line. Awesome. Next, we Alt Option drag again and choose a different template. Scatter is one of my faves because it gives you a lot of energy without having to do too much. Now for the lines got diamonds dancing, I wanted to choose text to dance with it. So I use the preset wiggle text. I then turned on the glow effect, turned on the stroke and turned off the fill. Now we have this awesome hollowed out text which is wiggling and dancing. I duplicated the template one more time and moved it down. I turned the glow off to make the diamond line more special. For the line, this is the vibe I'm on, I wanted to add a little camera shake to make it feel a little bit more alive. There's a few presets you can choose here, I chose subtle. All right, these first few lines are looking pretty great. However, I feel like the text could use a little bit more love. I decided to turn on the channel shift effect on all the first lines. This channel shift effect allows you to put a chromatic aberration effect on the text. All right, I've jumped ahead a few lines in this section in the grass and made the text large with an outline again using the glitch preset. For this last word long, I wanted to really emphasize it, so I duplicated the template on the left and the right and changed it to the reverse version of the echo accent template. Very cool. Now I'm gonna time lapse the rest of this to create more of the lyric video so you don't have to end up watching me do this. I ended up using some of the new presets which we have included bounce up and wiggle character. Finally, I made the footage black and white using the monochrome faded preset on an adjustment layer. Added some cinematic black lines using the black bars preset, which is also a free Moga download, which you can get in the description. And I added some gnarly 35 millimeter grain and bam, you have yourself a lyric video. You 
You know what, after looking at this edit, I realized I should have put some sick transitions in between the edits. So here's 12 transitions that you should definitely steal.